video to show you how to edit hard-coded pieces of text in Shopify. Um, okay, so first of all, in Shopify they have a, a section on the left, Sales Channels. You want to click into your online store. Um, now, once you're in there, you'll see themes. Now, there's two areas, three areas really, where you can edit. It depends on your theme. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you, if you go into Edit HTML slash CSS, um, this theme I'm using is the default theme, okay, so I can't find any hard-coded text in these pieces, but I'll show you, basically all of these files here, they're, the, they're your template files, Shopify calls them liquid files, um, where you'll see, for example, um, you know, on your articles, pages here, um, these parts here where you can see text, they're actually just comments, um, but some themes might have text hard coded in here okay and if if they do then you can come in here say there was a hard coded text here like this then you could just put in english text and then french text uh, etc okay um if your theme has that kind of thing okay now another a second area um if you're using shopify you probably know that shopify actually has language support but the weird thing is they don't let users, your customers, they don't let them switch language. It's only the store owner, yourself, that can choose one language for your store. Okay, so if your language is English, then in your locales down here, then you'll find a lot of um, text here. Okay, so this stuff is getting used, skip to content, that's getting referenced up in these theme files. So if you wanna translate that with a multilingualizer, you can put in here, four dots, uh, skip the content, two dots, and then now oh, my French, uh, a la content. Okay, something like this. Um, now that's the other way, okay, so you can basically put all your translations into here. It depends which language you have chosen. Again, I said in, in Shopify, they have internationalization, but they only let the shop owner choose one language. Um, okay, so if you're using the French one, then you want to be editing the fr.json file. Okay, and I probably could have passed it, passed it content, okay, fine. Um, so, you know, it depends what which which shop language you're actually using, but you can edit these files. Now, there is another area, third area. If I go back to themes, I'll leave those changes. If you go back to themes, if I click this little drop down again, and then edit language, um, it's a separate area here. Now, if you edit here, it should actually update your JSON file, um, the file that you saw me editing directly, um, and it's probably an easier way for you to do it. Um, so, you know, you can put in four dots, skip the content, base of content, etc. Okay. Uh, that's how you do it. If you've got any hard coded text in Shopify, this is how you go about editing it. Um, now just, the, the one thing is again, like with um, some custom themes that I've seen, some themes that have been edited or bought from third parties, um, I mean the default ones are pretty good, but they might have hard coded text actually inside the theme. I mean you can see here, this is a header with a page title and there's no actual hard coded text here. Um, but definitely seen themes where they do and if they do you just you can do the four four two four dot notation four dots your first language two dots your second language and then four dots to close it off or if you do more languages other two dots etc okay that's it easy